Hello again, it's those Gillerys. Today we're making what's called cauliflower shepherd's pie. So we got this from Giant Foods. It came in our pea pod delivery. They deliver to the home. I don't know if they have this in the store or if only delivery, I'm not sure. But it comes with this. And then almost everything is cut up. I mean, this is the cauliflower, it's already cut up. This is the carrots already cut up. I mean, everything, the this butter. The base already cut. Oh, wait. Stop. Comes with all the little dishes of stuff, uh, the corn. And then this is the brisket. That's kind of ugly, but that's the all brisket. This looks ugly. It's beef. Beef is always so, ugly. So, this is considered a lower carb recipe. Not that we do, do low carb things, but this looks good, so let's try it. So, let's see. Prep time 30 minutes. How can it take 30 minutes to prep? Do you ever prep pretty much? That's how long they took to prep it! Yeah, okay, so let's see. Place one and a half cup waters of one and a half cups water, cup waters in a heat skillet over medium high heat. So somebody get me one and a half cup waters. <laughs> and this meal, this meal serves. This meal is for six um, servants. They have all kinds. They have two servants, four servants, six servants, and they even have some Hello Fresh they they deliver. So pretty cool. It's all my fault that we had to change to this instead of that. It's all your fault? Yeah. Ooh. It's all my fault because I said I like going to the grocery store. See, so now we go to the grocery store again. Yeah. Even though we didn't go to, go the, to the grocery store. store. So we stopped doing Amazon Fresh because they what they kept losing, I mean, not bringing items. And then the last straw was the last time they forgot 15 items. And... They don't even say anything if unless you find out for yourself and then I have to go on and it took forever to do the, the get my money back and the lady was pretty rude. Usually they're really friendly with Amazon. This lady was like, Oh, were you being rude? Then? No, oh no, I was nice the whole time. She was, you know, probably thinking I'm lying about the 15 items, I don't know, but That's yeah. a weirdly specific thing to be lying about though. Yeah, I know, especially the specifics I had, <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, so now we try to this is our yeah, local man. grocery store is giant and they have something called people on delivery. Okay. Was this supposed to go in the pan? Yeah, in the pan. Not on the floor. Peter. <laughs> so Amazon Fresh, they have the groceries are delivered in people's cars, just random people's cars. Um Peepaw, they delivered a their big truck, refrigerated truck. So it's better. I peed. Eater, stop it! Plus, you have to sign a paper and they actually, you know, tell you what they substituted right there at the door. So, that's pretty good. You don't have to kind of guess, like Amazon Fresh. That's the difference, but, you know. The only thing is they don't, Amazon Fresh is faster to deliver, but they probably make more mistakes that way. Peapod, most of the time you take it to the next day, but that's fine. They're rushing to get everything into the car time. Yeah. Okay, so now that I've said all that, <laughs> the water's in the pan. It says, bring to a boil. So boil the water, the water, the water in the frying pan. That's different. And then add the rice to cauliflower. So I guess that's why the preparation takes so much, because you got to cook that for 10 minutes. It's been 10 so minutes. We'll move the camera over here, and then I'm going to turn it off. For a few minutes because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch water boil but I will turn it back on when it's boiling and then show you putting the cauliflower in and then I will turn it off again for the 10 minutes that it's boiling because we really don't have much prep I mean everything's pretty much I mean I can show you the vegetables and stuff but everything's all cut up for us Maybe we have to, yeah, you, could, you guys can start taking a plastic wrap off. Maybe we have to cut the corn, though, I don't know. Let's see, what do we do with the corn? Light a corn with a dish towel or paper towel and add the color. Let cool for five minutes. Dude, that's the sound of the mold blowing through the icy wind. Yeah, you have to drain it with the thing, those it's tiny, it'll go right through the thing. Do you see that? Okay, 
the corn. Yeah, go ahead, take it off everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Add shredded brisket. Stir in Campbell's cream mushroom soup. Carrot. I mean, needs corn. So it shows. So I guess we have to decorn it because it shows it off the stock. So why? Why is it, everything else is undone? I know everything corn. else is done except for so the corn. You have something to do while you're waiting. Yeah, I guess so. So the corn does need to come off the stock. But this is pretty much everything else is pretty much done for us actually. And it's measured. It's pre-measured. Hi. So the thing is that the corn is going to have to come off the stock and then we'll be doing that. So, actually the water is almost ready to boil, so I'll put the cauliflower in. Who's going to, are you going to do the corn either? Since you have it in your hand. Okay. So just take the kernels off. How do I do that? We have either the corn thing or you could do it with a knife. There's a corn thing? Yeah, we have a corn thing. We've never used it before, I don't think. What if the corn's too You push it through, I guess. I don't know, I've oh, never used a corn thing before. I think you use it like this. Yeah, because this goes down. I guess I probably need like a bowl. Yeah, put it over a bowl. This, the corn has an extra layer of skin on it now. Corn? <laughs> now it looks like a lamp. Corbinite. What? Corbinite. I don't know what the middle stage is. It's beautiful, Ooh. that's what it is. Cauliflower smells. Cauliflower smells. Woo! I think it tastes bad. <laughs> Cauliflower always smells like it's sulfur. Okay, so that's got to sit in there, and I think it's got to have a lid. The lids of this pan, we don't have a big lid for the pan, so. The pan did not come Add with the lid. Rice to cauliflower, cover cook. So, Cook for 10 minutes and then we have to drain it in a colander, but with the paper towel, of course, over the paper towels always will go right through the colander. <laughs> wait, which end does it go through? Oh, wait, I guess like this is this is like, wait, no, because this is a knife. So uh, I think you have to start from the top and go, I don't know, try it that way. And if it doesn't work that way, then go the other way. There you go, that works. So that's cauliflower Ooh, again. That's cool. And then there's the corn thingy. So it just takes the corn off of it. Can you get me the lid? Just one of the glass lids and you want to pop the right lid. Just... Do you want the clear one or the orange handled one? Um, I'll get the clear one. Oh, it's not. There wasn't really much corn on this though. Yeah. Well, I guess there's not going to be that much corn. It's going to be cauliflower. Well, yeah, because cauliflower is going to be mashed like the potatoes. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Cool. So we got the corn the going. That's a pretty cool thing. The corn cutter. <laughs> and then we have the cauliflower going over there in the oven. I'm blocking the Yeah, view. she's blocking it. So we will be back in this about. Looks oh wait, well, yeah. show them the corn. Yeah, the corn looks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the corn. <laughs> so we'll be back in ten minutes. Okay, so I got the cauliflower in the sink in a colander draining. I put paper towels around so it doesn't go through the colander. Seat so I'm going to read rules. what the next what? steps are. I said seat dribbles. Yeah. This is a cauliflower or seat dribbles. Yeah, if I didn't put that in. So that has to cool for five minutes and it'd be mashed. But why not? Let's see. Okay, in the same skillet, melt remaining one tablespoon butter. So is there two tablespoons of butter then? What? I only see one. Is there two? I guess there's. No, this gave us one. I guess you could cut it in half. Yeah, I guess that's to cut in half. <gasps> or I'll just use that. We'll use that for that. And then I'll just put a tablespoon in here of other butter. That we have. Other butter. Other butter. Hi guys, I'm back. You guys don't care. <laughs> that's not a tablespoon, that's a little scraping. I bet you I can get a tablespoon out of that. Oh wait, maybe not. <laughs> okay, well, you just so many corn. carrots. Yeah, that's a lot of carrots, yep. Cauliflower is so stupid. If you go to your room and there's 
There's like a big cauliflower bunch sitting in your bed. I would say, okay. Wrong dimension. <laughs> High dimension over your secret. That's almost cauliflower. a tablespoon. Okay, so I need something to add the onions into here. So quite open and add them to the pan. There's an obvious core that's pulled out. What about that? That's also an obvious core. <laughs> yeah. So just go in there and I gotta cook those first. Put our crisp potato. And they're crispy. And then other cool pieces of drop. Drop in, yeah. <laughs> and all you can see is someone's shoulder. <laughs> Why? Oh no. <laughs> it's too bright today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like between two and three. Not two and three, because this time we're setting it up. And then you find it here and the here in the rest of the stuff. Besides the the, the mash that somebody has to do in a few minutes. Nine-inch square casserole. I think it's our ten-inch, but that's okay. We'll do that. If somebody can get out the casserole dish. One of them. There's like three of them that ten-inch. We don't have a nine-inch. I don't think. Or maybe they are nine by ten. I don't know. Obvious core pieces got thrown away. How big is huge doggy? Okay, it doesn't say to spray it, so this will spray it. No, this one's too small. I don't know how many square. I don't know how many square. I don't even know what. We have an 8 inch square, but the others are rectangles. Okay, you know, that's good right there. That's going to be perfect for all this. 9 by 13 inches. Oh, okay, that's good then. But it's rectangular. I know, it's not square, but this one's more small. spread out. The square would take longer because it would be. Dance, the girl would be dance, yeah. Okay, are you doing the mash, Adrian? What? How would I do that? You just take the cauliflower off the thing, pour it here. Pour this in, pour the cheese in, and then add a few sprinkles of salt and mix it together with the mash or whatever it's at. Just like get it off the paper towel, and the full mash the paper towel, of course. Here's the masher. Over here, Ow, she's doing the cauliflower. So hot uh, yeah, because there's hot cauliflowers on there. <laughs> yeah, trying to get, I just didn't get the water. It's there. a we fake wanted, shepherd's pie. I wanted pie. the water drained, but oh well. I pulled it away because I realized what I was doing. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and put all the other stuff and mash it up as best as you can, like taters. Taters. Okay, Chris, I need the brisket. Oh. Um, Can you like kind of break up pieces and put it in here? Oh no, she has to touch it. You do, is, I look at all ugly. This is pre-cooked brisket, so it just has to be warmed up in the pie. So I stir everything together and then mash it? Yeah, stir together and then mash it up. I mean, this brisket probably tastes good. I think it won't. But you don't want to eat it just because you have mushroom soup in it. <laughs> And then you're looking at eating the brisket without putting it inside the pan. Well, it is pretty good. Oh, wait, so. she's just using her adult privileges. Her adult privileges, yep, yeah, see? Adult power. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, Why been, not traumatize someone? <laughs> I've been an adult for two years and I have never used my adult powers or privileges. You went to the movies on your own? Yeah. Doesn't that count as an adult privilege? Yep. Well, I would guess so. 
And you took your little sister to the movies. Teenagers go to the movies on their own. Yeah. Uh, Although I would have been allowed to. To a run down old wall. <laughs> but then it's outside so that the bad energy you can escape. Yep. Yeah. The haze fills the sky over the mall. And the energy condenses in the air. No. Else so we're that? doing this over here, so Aiden's doing the brisket. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna take the scissors and cut that. Oh, that's gonna be too big of a chunk to. I think it's kind of creepy in. to look at pictures of old malls that are about to shut down. Yeah, but people like those videos, so I think they're creepy because yeah. I don't know. I guess because you know it's a place where once there's a lot of people, well, now there's no one. one. Yeah, it's dead. It's dead mall. This energy, the people who once were there are remain. gone, yep. They think the voices and energies are still stuck in the buildings and in the ground. Well, they could be, right? Yep. That just makes it even creepier because you might think someone's there, but they're not. Uh, they yep. look like they are. You hear someone asking about jail, but you turn around and they're not there. Yep. Oh, it's the yeah. voice of someone who asked about it. I'm glad the, I'm glad the malls we go to aren't dying. That'd be creepy. Then you say they are. That one was. the. I, I even made a video of it. The, it was dying. birds that were living in the yeah. woods. Yeah. Until they turned into the hospital. The outdoor ones. No, I meant the indoor ones. Oh, yeah. I think it's the indoor ones that are creepy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. The, the ceiling prevents the... The bad energy? <laughs> the bad energy. The bad energy. I'm just making up. Yeah. You know I'm just making up stuff about bad energy. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. Who knows? Bad vibes. Fire. So it mm. kind of me a little bit more because some of it was really big chunks. Okay, Krista, you could start adding the carrots and peas and soup and soy sauce. Everything except for the cauliflower. And, and then you say you're not going to eat it because it has that soy sauce in it. Yep. See, it look less sodium. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to add salt to the cauliflower. We make it. Nobody eats it. Yeah, nobody eats any of the food. Bring it to church. Ew, bring it to church. Ew. Why would you bring it to church? <laughs> mm, the brisket smells so good. It's so old by then. It reminds me of when I was in Houston and had brisket for breakfast. <laughs> Everything looks back to Houston. Ooh, it looks like grit. It's Houston, better. we have a problem. You said the vegetables, the rest of the vegetables. Yeah, the rest of the vegetables, soup, and soy sauce. No, oh, that's tea. It's kind of brown. Okay, we'll pull it out. You Obvious know. core. Okay, in the peas. It's going in. They say, no, we should wash up the little tubs and use them again for something. No, we get rid of We got plenty of plastic. We got way too many plastic dishes. Keep just the lids. No. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> it needs a spoon to remove it from the pan. You did a racer bushy when I put the butter and cheese in it. Okay, there's the mushroom soup. Just one can. Your mother goes real fast. One day she will be sick. Because she has no boundaries. Okay, soup is in. And now I just need to put the soy sauce in. And then it's got to, it says keep the boiling. There's not really anything to really boil in here. I mean, no real juice and it doesn't say add water. The soy sauce is gonna add And the soy sauce is just a tiny bit, so yeah. I guess it is like it is boiling actually. See the little bubbles? So yeah. I'm done mashing now. Okay, so we just set that there until we and that's gonna be spread on the top in, in a minute after we get this all bubbly and mixed together. And then it's gonna go in the refrigerator. Not the refrigerator. <laughs> It's going to go in the oven for 25 minutes. It's going to go in the refrigerator for 25 minutes? Yeah. It's going to cook in the refrigerator. It's a new thing. Reverse the refrigerator. Oh, it's 
stir this all together and then it's going to go in the pan and then the, the mash gets spread on the top. Oh, I hope the chef forwards. Oh, it's not a real shepherd's toy. Yeah. It's a version. Still working on Peter Parker in the movie. <laughs> and I'm supposed to have my other January video out by yesterday. Oh, yeah. What's the other one going to be called? Just random pictures. Random pictures. January 2020. Oh. I'm going to do one for each month and then. Never again. Okay. So you're gonna do two for January? No. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna inspire bot and random inspire pictures. Inspire bot and random pictures. Okay. Okay, so it's boiling, so it's gonna go into this pan over here. Oh no, I just spoiled my video. And you're gonna spread the mash on the top afterwards. Where's the corn go? Oh, the corn is supposed to go in too. <laughs> okay, I'm well. mix it in now. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it like that. Oh, I was trying to give the corn to the guinea pigs. Some of the corn fell off into their cage. Oh no. I thought it, it looked like it was all gone, but then the pieces were coming off. Over. Yeah. Okay. Good thing you said that about the corn. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and put the mash over the top and then we'll spread it around. Our food going away to pigs. <laughs> yeah, pigs. Okay. Oops. Oops. And then they hear me coughing and they just squeaking the cauliflower mash <laughs> all over the Why top. Why do people like to substitute everything with cauliflower? I don't know. Cauliflower is the best thing ever. It can even use as yogurt, apparently. No, cauliflower Ew. doesn't yogurt? taste. Ew. It's not bad, but it doesn't it really taste that good, good that you you need to replace everything with it. There's cauliflower yogurt at the grocery it, store. With all the yogurts, there's a little tub and it said cauliflower. Ew. So I guess it's made of creamy cauliflower. Flour with flavor in it, I guess. Uh, it's so sulfury it's though. This cauliflower craze it needs to stop. Yeah, <laughs> cauliflower pizza crust. We made that, pizza crust we made that, good, that, that one time it was good, but we had to put corn in it too. Yeah, though, so I've heard wasn't... people using it as a substitute for like rice and stuff. It's <laughs> not. Right. Rice oh gosh, remember that rice cauliflower in a bag? That was gross. Real rice is the best. Okay, so we're going to put it in the oven for 25 minutes and we'll be back to show you what it well, looks no, like. I get like a com angry comment from someone named, I love cauliflower. cauliflower. Well, we like cauliflower too, but it doesn't have to be like everything. I mean, cauliflower is good by itself. It's cauliflower. Kind of flavorless. Okay, let's see. That's why you have to have lots of salt and butter. <laughs> butter, yep. Okay, we'll be back. You are. Okay, so it's now out of the oven and done, and I'll show you what it looks like on a plate. Let me get a spatula. 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 So I'll take a little bit and put it on a plate. Hey Stark, have you seen my shield? No. Can't you just stretch out your hand and have it come flying towards you? Okay, so there it is. No. Bon appetit. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, give us a Perfect. thumbs up. <laughs> and for more cooking videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.